This program is brought to you by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu. Hi, I'm Eric Weeks, an Associate Professor of Physics here at Emory University. I've been here for eight years now. Uh, one of the things I study in my research is the properties of squishy materials like foam. So if you think about shaving cream, it's made out of soapy water and air, and yet it can support its own weight. You can make a pile of shaving cream in a way that you can't do with air or you can't do with soapy water. So why is this? And how much weight can this pile support? And what happens when you go from being a pile of shaving cream? If you add too much weight, it no longer can support it, but it squishes out. So how do you go from being a pile to being something that's squished out? What are the bubbles doing? How much weight does it take? If I do it really fast or slow, how does that relate to things? You could also ask, you know, how much force does it take to move my hands back and forth? Uh, and does that depend on the size of the bubbles or how much water is in the shaving cream? So it's kind of fun. It can be messy at times, but uh, there's actually some really good science that can be done here, and that's what we're doing. So we do a lot of microscopy in this area of research. We're taking lots of pictures of these samples. We have a device, for example, that can take the sample and move it back and forth while we're taking a, a movie of this on the microscope. And the nice thing about this is that it's very easy to get undergraduates involved in the research because we always start from the movie. That's really where the raw data comes in is from the movie. And the undergraduates often can see things that I don't even see in the movie because they're, I'm looking for certain specific things, but they're looking at it with fresh eyes. So it's really great because they can get easily involved in the research because it starts with images and it can often lead the research in very creative directions. Um, I think that Emory does a very good job with undergraduate research. We are a re university known for doing very good research, but we have a very deep commitment to getting undergraduates involved in it. And so the undergraduates are not just cleaning up after other students, they're not just doing te technician kind of work, but they're really involved in their own projects. And I've had many students who have been able to go to national conferences and give talks on their own research in the same sessions as professors and graduate students, uh, but they can talk about their own project because they really do take ownership of the project. Um, and I think that that's one of the really great things about Emory. When I was an undergraduate, I got to do undergraduate research. I worked during the summer and also occasionally during the school year, and it really was a lot of fun, and it got me excited about physics. It's a chance to see the connection between what you learn in class and real life, cutting edge uh, work. So you're not just learning about the laws of physics as discovered by Galileo and Newton many, many years ago, but you're really getting to see how they apply and how there are unknown questions, even when you take something simple like shaving cream, which is soapy water and air. Uh, despite the fact that these are very simple substances, there's some very deep physics questions that still remain to be answered. It's like almost just one particle size, and you go from one to the next. Is that cool? This program is brought to you by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu.